Hello guys, uh, this is a new video about Playnight. I created a, a new plugin, a library plugin, to pull the Microsoft uh, Cloud games. So the, the games you can play using streaming, using uh, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Uh, it does not only pull the games, it will also auto remove the games that are uh, removed from Game Pass Ultimate for streaming. And you can specify options to, to select your browser and to play the games automatically. So I will start immediately with showing you playing a game. So I have already pulled all the games here. The and evils within. The metadata and stuff. And uh, when I press and play the button, launching your it will launch my browser in kiosk mode in a separate da with a separate data directory. And now I have my Xbox controller activated. And uh, you, you come on this page with the play button, and uh, I can just select play, and it will start the stream in your browser. Uh, it does not work using the Xbox app because in the Xbox app I cannot specify a way to launch uh, to open the page to launch the the game immediately using streaming. I don't know of any way of how to do that. Uh, I also use a special app to quit the games. Uh, I press select and start, and then the active window will close. I do this using an auto old key script, but this is not part of the plugin. You will have to provide this yourself using some program, or I can share the script. And what you have to know is you, you cannot close the game now. If you do this now, you get this pop-up window, and you cannot control it using your Xbox controller. So what you have to do is, when you use such scripts, press the guide button, choose close game, choose close game again, wait for the game to close and to be back on the main page of the games, and then you can press the button to close it and you're back in play night. Uh, play night will record your playtime you played on these games. Uh, it will pull the games, as I will show you if I remove some games. Wolfenstein, and I do update library blood. or update uh, specifically the xCloud library. It will first grab the games. As you can see here, and then it will start downloading the metadata. The uh, that's just default play night stuff. But what's good is, is uh, Microsoft provides lots of images and uh, lots of descriptions and so uh, themselves. Uh, I basically use some code from uh, Tackling Power's um, game catalog browser. I modified some things, but uh, the main the main JSON part is the same. Um, so now I will explain some more of the settings. Uh, so if you go to Add-ons, Libraries, Xcloud. The very first time before it can pull any games, you will have to set this up. So you will have to choose your region. Uh, I basically provided all regions I know the Microsoft site supports, but these are more regions than xCloud supports and especially xCloud uh, for streaming. So then Game Pass supports and especially for xCloud streaming. Uh, so you will have to figure out yourself if it supports it or not. Uh, you can specify options to display a notification when a game gets removed or added. You can choose your language for uh, the metadata, here the description. You can also choose the, the sizes of the icon of the cover. Uh, these resolution sizes, the resizing happens on Microsoft servers. Uh, they seem to resize them themselves uh, when you provide these parameters. You do have to understand if the original image was smaller, and you specify a higher resolution, it will get upscaled and it will take longer to download the metadata. Um, there are options to choose a poster image, like uh, this one, like my uh, old plot, or to even to, to use square covers. Uh, so that's handy for people using square covers. You can also choose the background size, and then you have to set up your browser. Basically, you select your uh, exit from your Chrome, I would recommend using Chrome, it works the best with least amount of issues and not specifically about the streaming itself but to play the games using your controller, uh, to launch them without the least amount of uh, pro problems. 
Uh, then you can choose to use kiosk mode. Uh, kiosk mode is a mode where the, 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 the URL will open full screen, as you, can, as you saw with me. So it looks as if a game started. And the use data there is an option to make sure the, the cookies, the settings of your browser are saved in a separate directory, separate from your normal uh, browser configuration. Uh, these two last options only work with Edge and Chrome, uh, so you have to watch out for that. Uh, I recommend using them because uh, if you enable kiosk mode, which you will probably do, and you don't enable use data there, <coughs> sorry, and one of your browsers is already running, it won't uh, launch the browser in kiosk mode, it will just activate the browser and open the game there. So it's better to use a data directory. Uh, this option is a special option to provide extra parameters to the browser if you use some special options. And this option is especially special. Uh, it, it prevents the URL to launch the game with, a, with another URL. Uh, there exist two URLs from Microsoft, one from login.live.com and one from xbox.com to automatically log you in uh, in the page. Uh, the game, the, the sites will also automatically log in automatically, but due to the automatic login without providing such uh, URL, um, yeah, it doesn't automatically launch the games. If you know these URLs and you put them here, uh, the game will, will launch directly without having pressing the play button. But there is a catch. I know these URLs, I tried them, and if you specify them, and you launch your games too quickly, quickly after each other, you have the risk of soft locking your account. So that's why I don't do it by default. That's why I don't advertise it. And that's why I don't provide the URLs. Um, so yeah, that's the basic options. Now I will show you some of the options. Uh, with me, it pulled all the games. Uh, you can change the language. As you can see here, the description is in my language. So if I choose uh, French from uh, Belgium and I choose to download the metadata again from the official store, it grabbed the French descriptions, as you can see here. Uh, you can also choose the, the square covers. You only have to basically set this up once initially, uh, what you want to use, before basically pulling, updating the library. Um, so I will show you an example of a square cover. So 500 by 512. Yo, ukulele and the impossible layer. Download uh, the metal data from the official store. So you see here's a square cover. Here's the French text again. And here we have the, the, the metal data and the square cover. Uh, it will also pull the steam, the, 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 the sorry. You also pull the, the publisher, the developer, the platform. I specify xCloud, so it's separated, uh, and stuff like that. Uh, some of the other fields are grabbed from uh, IG, IGDB uh, using my metal data. Now, suppose you, you made the mistake and it pulled all the games. What you can basically do is, Undertale. you will see here, these are still in English. Unruly heroes. With the... With the Rectangle cover. We have you can really select them. Yo, ukulele and the impossible layer. You can go to library, download metadata. This is just plain, basic, uh, plain art usage. Yeah? So you, then you select select all games, selected games only. You disable only download missing data. You disable everything here. And you only specify the parts you want. So in this case, we only want to the, the cover image from the official store. So I disable the rest. Xbox basically has data for every game they have. So I, I didn't have a game yet that didn't pull data. And we also want the descriptions also only from the official store. And then we do when you pull the metal data, remastered. it will download the metal data in Yo, the batch, and the as you Yakuza will see, they all have now World square Wars cover Z. and all Wolf French text. Wolf and stuff. We happy few. So you Wasteland, can basically Wasteland, change it Wasteland even 2. after uh, Director's cut. grabbing the games already. 
I also said it, it displays notifications when a game was added or removed. Uh, it will auto remove any game that has been deleted by Microsoft. It doesn't make sense to keep them because you cannot play them anymore uh, uh, anyway. So it doesn't make sense to keep them. And then you can dismiss them. Uh, this also works from uh, full screen mode. So if I go to full screen mode and I still have my controller active. And Yo, I the download some you, games. Wolf, wolf, wait, the sorry, walking I pull the games. The I can just the select the, the Elder Scrolls Skyrim, game. for example. Skyrim, start launching to play it. It will launch my browser again. The browser you selected, yeah. This this happens sometimes and it's due, due to the auto login from Microsoft. So when that happens, you have to close it and just start launching. it again and it will normally come okay. So Microsoft is doing some weird things. With the uh, with the auto login, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. That's why the the redirect URL is handy, but Launching it can can provide uh, problems. I don't provide it immediately. Yeah, let me try a different game. So it's finicky, but it's not due to the plugin. It's due to Microsoft, the auto login system from their uh, sites. Let me try another game. Um, the elders, the surge train sim, the walking, the walk, wasteland two, wasteland three, waste yakuza's world wars, I don't wolf, know much wa of these wa waste so yakuza six, Let's the song launching. Works. Yeah, now I'm on the play page, and then you can just. Uh, just press the play button. Uh, the white pages you see is from the, the, the redirects from the auto login system from Microsoft. And then you can start playing the game again. It will launch the game. And uh, I will quit it now immediately. Uh, so I don't have to wait. Uh, Waste we'll train sim or the walk the long dark the walk the, the elders the, the elder the now. elder scrolls v Skyrim again. special it, launching the and now it works, you see, so it's due to the redirect URLs from Microsoft, but I cannot help that. But yeah, if you try a few times, it will probably work. And I have no control over it. It would be better if the Xbox app worked, that would have less problems with the, with, with the redirect, the auto login and stuff. Uh, so yeah. But yeah, as you can see, it also works in full screen. You have all the metadata here. Forza Horizon, The Elder Scrolls, for Yoakalele, Releve, Yoakalele, and the Impossible Lair. Let me go back. Yakuza, wait, train, the search, the long, the, the, elder, the Elder Scrolls online. Uh, so, let me go back to desktop mode. I think I basically... Set everything. Tiny check robots. The plugin settings. Yeah, I think I said everything. Uh, it won't pull any games as long as you haven't selected the options correctly. Uh, so be aware of that. Uh, so yeah, that's basically the plugin, the Xcloud plugin. It allows you to play the games in the browser and it pulls the games also. I hope you like it, until next time.